Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. We are almost at Friday. All right, I'm giving this a second here to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to join. I want to get started right away today. Hello. Hi, guys. Um, so as people kind of trickle in, uh, get your mat set up. Okay, I've got my mat back here. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If you're back for more from yesterday, good for you. I hope you guys are all feeling a burn. Um, I would love to hear how you guys are feeling. If you're feeling a little bit of booty action going on back there, you might feel it in your abs. I feel it a lot in my abs today, actually, and in my legs too. Um, so get your mat as we did yesterday. If you don't have a mat, you can use a towel. You can use, you know, something that will um, support you at least a little bit. And then as soon as you guys are ready, we are going to get started, okay? All right, so I think we're good. Let's get moving. Um, just really, really quick, a quick intro. This is my 10 for 10 workout program. I'm doing um, 10 minute workouts for 10 days, focusing on a different body part each day. We did a kick-ass um, booty burn yesterday, and today we're doing an ab crusher. I solved my internet problem. It actually wasn't an internet problem at all. It was something with my screen time, so thank you. Um, is it Sharon? I think her name was Sharon. I think it was Sharon. Or Sherry, her name was Sherry. Thank you, Sherry, for the tip. She sent me a DM and she helped me. All right, enough of me chit-chatting away. Let's get going. Get down on your mat. I'm hoping you guys can see me fully here, okay? What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing 30 second workouts. So we're gonna do about 11, 12, 30 second workouts. I'm gonna time everybody. Let me just grab my timer really quick. Okay, even if I am speaking, please keep going. Don't stop. I do want to kind of give you guys some tips along the way. The first exercise we're going to start with, 30 crunches. Regular crunches in three, two, one, let's go. Now, when you guys are doing crunches, a lot of people do crunches with their arms, their elbows in really, really tight to their ears like this. See what I'm doing? I don't want you guys to do that. Let those elbows kind of flop open. You'll feel that a little bit more in your lower ab and also in your obliques, okay? So keep going, you've got about five seconds and then you guys are gonna stop and we're gonna move forward with the next exercise. Okay, that's enough. We're gonna do reverse crunches now. Let me just demonstrate them for you so you can see what they look like, okay? Sitting up nice and tall, your hands are gonna be down and you're just gonna flip back and come back. Flip back and come back, okay? So, here we go in three, two, go for it. When you guys are doing this exercise, I'm gonna do it with you because I love it so much. I don't want your feet to go out too far or in too close. So when you're rocking back, this should be a perfect tabletop position that you have there. Perfect tabletop. Just keep going in succession. Keep those knees bent, that stomach in, nice and tight. You've got four, three, two, let it relax. Okay? Next we're going to do flutter kicks. So these I want your head off of the ground, your arms on the floor. So arms are going to be here, head's going to be up. Okay? We're going to flutter. Ready? Sit. Go. Fluttering, fluttering. You can flex your feet if you like that. You can point your feet if you like that. But really, I want your head off the ground. Do keep going. Do not strain that neck though. If you feel that you're straining your neck, put your head down. Put your head down if you're straining your neck. You can also lift your hands up off the floor if you want. It gives you a little bit more of like a balancing um, motion there if you want to do that. Okay, you've got, you're done. Okay, good job guys. Everybody up. We're gonna do some sitting twists. 
These are simple, but you're gonna feel them. We sit up straight, nice and tall, okay? Knees are bent, I'll do that this way so you guys can see. Knees are bent, right? You're gonna lean back a little bit, and then you're just gonna twist to the side. In three, two, go. When you're doing these, I want exhales out on the Okay, so you're breathing, getting that oxygen. Keep your knees together, your feet together. Lean back a little more, see if you can get a little more. Feel that, now you're starting to shake a little bit. You're starting to get it a little bit more. Okay, in three, two, one, great. Next, we're gonna do high crunches. I'm gonna just quickly demonstrate these to you. High crunches, you're gonna put your arms up straight in front of your face, shoulders back and down, right? So like you wanna push your shoulders as far into the ground as you possibly can, and you're just gonna crunch it up. Okay, in three, two, start. So, one thing that's really, really important, at least for me, is form. And everything I do, I try to keep a really, really good form. Something that I've learned along the way is that with abs, keep going, you don't want to have this, this sway back, right? You want to have your, like you're trying to press your lower back into the floor, okay? That's what you want to do and you will feel relaxed, relaxed. If you do that, you will feel your lower core working so much more. So if you're trying to kind of think about, okay, see this difference here? You don't want any space here. So keep it nice and flat and then work from there and it'll monumentally change how you work out and your results. Okay, next we're gonna do some scissors. I'm sure you guys have done these before. Um, for this one, I want your head down, please. So head is gonna be down and we're just gonna keep our hands down and we're gonna scissor. Okay, when I do this, I like to turn my feet out. I don't know if it's just because I'm a former ballerina or if it's because um, I get a little bit of an inner thigh workout as well, but let's, let's do it in three, two, let's go. Okay, keep those knees straight. I don't wanna see a bend. I also don't wanna see those legs too high up. You're just making it easier for yourself. Get a nice 45 degree angle there so that you're really working these lower abs. Put your hand on your stomach for a second. Feel those lower abs. They are coming in hot and they are really, really, really working. In three, two, let it relax. Great job. Okay, by now you guys should start to be feeling it a bit. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna do a traditional plank. This is gonna be a 30 second plank. You can choose whether you want to do it on your forearms like this, or you wanna put your, um, if you wanna put your hands together, whatever you wanna do, I like to put my hands together. It gives me a little bit more support. All right, 30 second plank, get in position in three, two, let's go guys. Okay, a couple tips for your planks. Do not have your butt up, okay? If you have your butt up, you are not working your stomach. That is not gonna help you. See this? No, you want it down. You wanna think of your head and your foot in a direct straight line like a pencil, okay? So you're like a pencil. No swaying this way. You, don't, you also don't wanna be too far back. You wanna try to be forward here on these feet like you're reaching. Okay, you're good, stop, okay? So you wanna lean, you wanna be a little bit forward in your plank. You don't wanna be too center or too far back. Okay, next I wanna do some cross, uh, cross crunches, okay? These are for your obliques. So cross crunch, very simple, it's just a regular crunch, but we're gonna cross it, duh. So we're gonna do elbows out to the side, right? And left, okay? When I begin, you are going to as well. Let's go. Cross and cross. Keep those knees together, together, okay? Suck that stomach in really nice and tight. Keep those elbows open if you can. Open elbows, open elbows. 
I don't want you going all the way down. I want you to stay engaged while you're doing this. And go, and go, and go. Okay, feel your abs the entire time you're moving. Let it relax. Okay, you guys feel that one? As you can see for me, it's all about how you do workouts. It's not even necessarily about what you're doing. It's really about your form and how you um, position yourself. All right, you guys, we're gonna do some leg raises. Um, if you have a bad back or if you don't want to do this one, you don't have to. Um, I'm very specific about my leg raises in case you haven't already noticed that I'm specific. Um, so I want you guys to have your arms on the ground, but I want your head up. This makes it a lot more challenging. You don't have to do this, but you can. With your feet, they are flexed. When you do a leg raise, it's not coming all the way up here, okay? You're gonna have a very designated area, here to here, here to here, because that's what's gonna keep your abs engaged the entire time. Let's do it. You guys ready? We ready to work? Are we feeling the burn? Three, two, one. Let's go. See how I'm keeping a very small little bit? I'm not making this this big, ginormous move where my feet touching the floor. No, 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 no. I'm keeping my abs engaged, right? You can always put a hand on your belly if you want to know. See, I'm gonna lower my head right now because my head is starting to feel like my neck is working too much. Okay? In three, two, let it relax. Awesome. So anytime your neck starts to feel like you're straining it too much, you can put that head down. All right. We're gonna do what's called a side jackknife. This is really for your obliques. So you're gonna lay on your side on your mat Straight line with the body, straight line, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one arm on top of your head, one arm in front of you, and we're just gonna crunch it up and crunch it up, okay? When I say go, in three, two, go. Crunch and crunch and crunch and crunch. So this is as much of a leg workout as it is an ab workout. You should really be feeling it right here. And you can actually see the indent. See the indent, that means that it's working, things are moving. Okay, you're doing great. We're gonna keep moving with this. Make sure you're breathing, are you guys breathing? Breathing is important because without it, you would not be able to have the energy to do this. All right, switch sides. Please, we're gonna switch to the opposite leg. So switch to the opposite side, please. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on this leg, three, two, let's go. Up, down, up, down. Again, this is another one of these things where I don't wanna see this like massive movement. I wanna see a controlled up and down, up and down. You feel it in your butt? I bet you feel it in your butt because it's working. So that's what we're doing. You'll find that a lot of my workouts that I do are actually involving multiple body parts all at the same time. Because I like efficiency. That's enough stuff. But yeah, I like efficiency, so I try to hit as many things as I can at the same time. Because you guys don't want to be like slaving away for an hour, right? You want to get it done and go to the bar and have your drinks. I don't know, at least that's what I want to do. Okay. We're going to do what's called a star plank. A star plank is Similar to a regular plank, except that your arms and your feet are gonna be out wide. So you're gonna look something like this. Watch my arms. Out wide, you know, like mat width. Okay, like that. Okay. In three, two, one, let's go. Hold it there, same thing as last time. I don't want this butt up. This is not a downward dog. This is not a downward dog. This is a star plank, butt is down. Don't be too far back. Be a little forward, a little forward, see? Kind of loosely leaning a little bit forward. Okay, keep it locked. Keep that stomach in tight. I want to see it like this. I want to see this. Okay, in three, two, one. Let it relax. Awesome. You guys are really, you guys are doing really great. We're gonna do some 
toe taps, okay? Toe taps are great, I love toe taps. I do them every time I work out my abs. By the way, you guys, this is my wedding ab workout. This is the ab workout I did before my wedding. Almost, well not every day, but like four days a week. And if I did it before my wedding, you know it's gotta be good because people wanna look their best before their wedding, right? And Jesse does this workout with me, so this is not just for women, this is for men. Let's do it. Let's go, toe tap, one, two, one, two. Keep those abs engaged the whole time. Lifting up your back a little bit higher off the ground. Can you get a little bit higher? Can you get a little bit farther? Can you reach your toes? Guys, it's not a heel tap. I know that you're hitting your heel, but that's because that's the closest thing you can reach. But you're aiming for your toes, okay? So you're going all the way forward. Three, two, one. Nice. Great job. All right. You guys know what bicycle crunches are, I'm sure. We're gonna do 30 seconds of them. Um, your arms are gonna be up, not like this, like this, okay? Okay, we're gonna go. Three, two, let's go. And one, two, three. I like to point my toes. If you wanna flex them like this, you can flex them. I just kinda like to keep them a little bit loose. I want you to reach and reach and reach and reach. We are lifting. This is should not be super easy for you. This should be like you're lifting, lifting. Keep that leg in line, in line, two, one. Okay, good job, let it relax. Sitting punches. These are also really great. <clears throat> We're gonna do some sitting punches, okay? These are similar to these twists, but we're just gonna punch it, okay? In three, two, let's go. So lean back, lean back, lean back. Punching it, punching it. Really turn. Pretend that there's somebody there and they're trying to knock you out and you're like, no, no, no. I don't know. I don't know, whatever. Pretend whatever you want, but just squeeze your abs, whatever you do. You've got about five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Nice, okay. Good job, you guys. The next thing we are going to do, knee in twists. Oh wow, I'm way past 10 minutes, aren't I, yet again. Oh well, we're almost done, you guys. We have like three more exercises and then we're done. Okay, I'm going to start in three, two, knee ends. We just in and out, in and out. You can make this a little bit of a tricep um, push-up workout because you're working your arms if you want to like bend a little bit. If you don't, you can just kind of bring it in. Bring it in. Doesn't have to be a tricep thing. Just be an oblique thing. Always breathing, always breathing in and out. I like to go in through my nose and out through my mouth. Okay, you're good. Nice, very good. Okay, second to last move is gonna be a long arm crunch. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you. Your, your legs are gonna be in the tabletop, okay? Your arms are gonna be behind your head and we're just gonna lift up and down, okay? That's it, let's go, move it. Now, I want your arms long, 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 like reaching to the back of the room long, not like limp noodles, like, like a, think of a synchronized, like a diver and how their arms are super, super straight. That is your arms. Your legs, I want your legs not like in here. I want your legs a true table, tabletop. And one, let it relax, nice. All right, you guys, here's your last move of the day. It's gonna be a V hold. There are several ways you can do this. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways and a couple different um, modifications if you need it. You're gonna lean back, Lean back, okay? 
Put your knees up to a tabletop. Take your hands here. If you want a challenge, straighten your legs. If you want it a little easier, bend your knees. You're gonna just hold that position for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, let's do it. I want you to look ahead of you. Don't look at me, look ahead of you. And look at the wall or whatever you're looking at. Find one spot that is above your head. So it's gotta be above eye level. It's gotta be higher, higher than you. And stare at it. Just stare at it. You guys are so close. You've got eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And let it relax. Awesome. Awesome job, you guys. Really, really good. So that was my 10 minute ab crusher. Awesome. Okay, you guys are giving thumbs up. Great. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you had a great workout. Um, you will feel this. I promise you that. You will feel this um, tomorrow. You'll feel this the next day. And any time that you need to do a quick 10 minute workout, you can use any of those moves. They're all really, really great. What we just did, just so you guys are aware, I'll do a little technical science physiology geek out for you guys. You just worked your transverse abdominis, which is your, um, your lower abs, your, your, um, your six pack, and your obliques, and that V line. So you worked it all. Look at you go. Um, you know, a couple of people have asked me if I would be willing to share my, my diet um, and my, some of my health tips and kind of health hacks. So I am going to do that um, probably at the end of these 10 days. I am more than happy to share that with you guys. Um, just a little aside, I eat cheeseburgers. I drink wine almost every night. Um, I love cocktails. I eat pizza. Um, not too much, but I eat pizza, I eat bread, I eat it all. So I am not into these fad diets. Um, I think if you just don't overthink it, then uh, you're good to go. We are meant to eat, we are meant to have nutrients. And if you listen to your body and be kind to it, it will be kind to you. Um, thank you guys so much for joining. Please make sure everybody knows this is for men, women, old, young, do what you can. You don't have to go crazy. You know, there's always a way to modify it. Um, but until tomorrow, my friends, thank you so much for joining. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, um, shoot me DMs. Some of you shot me some DMs from yesterday and I loved it. I thought um, your comments were awesome. So keep them coming. Get your friends, bring them back here tomorrow. Um, and let's flatten the curve and let's flatten our bellies. Stay safe, everybody. And have a great rest of your night. Take care. Bye.